Atu was just your average farmer robot who lived at the edge of a small village. He'd spent his entire life taking care of retired veteran robots. He oiled their rusty bodies using sunflower oil, which was made from sunflowers that he had grown himself. The job wasn't an easy one, but it was immensely fulfilling for him to provide a useful service to others. His job gave him the opportunity to hear lots of interesting stories from the elderly robots. They told him of how they had spent their lives traveling to faraway countries and had fought in many significant battles throughout history. Atu had always wanted to travel too, but his plans always came crashing down around him before he had even gotten started. Atu also knew only too well how dangerous the creatures in the local surrounding woods were, so why would he risk traveling beyond the boundary of his home village? Then, one quiet summer's afternoon, the village was suddenly ransacked by a gang of robot bandits. They stole all of the vitally important oil supplies he needed to care for the retired robots, as well as valuables from local residents. Atu was concerned and didn't really know what to do, but he had a strong feeling that he had a responsibility to help the other villagers and decided to bravely go against his gut and venture into the dangerous woods. He borrowed a rusty sword from one of the elderly robots and set off on a mission to reclaim the stolen oil that the villagers so desperately needed to survive. The best clandestine escape route that Atu could think of was traveling through the interconnected cellars underneath the village, which were designed to protect people from enemy attacks during wartime. Thank <laughs> you.
Atu had bravely tracked down and defeated all of the robot bandits that had ransacked his home village. He learned many useful skills on his adventure, which allowed him to recover the stolen sunflower oil and return it to the elderly villagers. He was so happy that the villagers could return to their peaceful and relaxing existence.